to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a roasted um, canned chicken, like a beer canned chicken or soda pop chicken, uh, whatever you want to do in the oven. Now, you can do it on the grill. We used to do it on the grill all the time, but now I no longer have my grill. It finally died, so I haven't replaced it. So, we're going to put it in the oven today. So, you got to have a pan. And I got this, uh, oh, a few years ago or more at Walmart. It's for beer can chicken. Um, your can sits down in there and it holds your chicken. But you got to put it in something. Unless you're putting it directly on the grill. But we're doing the oven, so we have to have a pan under here for all the drippings to go there. Now, I stopped at the a gas station and was going to look for a 12-ounce can. Uh, but they don't have 12 of those cans. They have a 16. So what you do, whatever kind of can you're using, you pour, you, you drink half of it. Um, so, and then leave half of it in the can. Because if you have a full can, it's going to start bubbling and make a mess. So half of your can or whatever it is. So it could be beer or it could be a soda pop, which this is. Or you could take, just take a regular can and put some chicken broth in there or white wine. It don't have to be pop or beer. And so now we're going to put our whole chicken on there. And it's just going to go over the opening like that. Let's see if it will fit on this can. I'm hoping it will. It's a fryer chicken. You might have to push on that. Mine's still a little bit frozen inside, but it's okay. I actually like these taller cans because, look, the little legs just hit right at that bottom, you know. But, like, if you had, like, a 12 ounce can, the little legs would go like that and cross. But I kind of like that. You're just going to have to, where it's going to sit up taller, you're going to have to adjust your rack to the bottom or the next to the bottom. Put your rack in in the oven. So, we're going to take paper, ta paper towels and pat this dry. Bring it up a little bit. Paper towels and pat this dry so we can put our dry rub on it. You can put any kind of seasonings you want. You just want something big enough so it will catch your drippings as the chicken renders its fat and juices, okay? Alright. Now, in this, my seasonings I've got is garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of oregano, salt and pepper. Um, I believe that's it. So, we're just going to mix it real good. And then we're just going to basically rub it in our chicken. Now you can put a little olive oil on your chicken. Which is I'm getting, I'm getting ready to do. And then put my seasons on. <coughs> Let me put some, whoops, some in my hand. It really came out. I'm just going to rub my chicken real good. Get his little legs. This will help it brown and stuff, too. And it helps our seasonings here, too. So, we're just going to start sprinkling and rubbing. You want to use lemon pepper. You want to do a barbecue seasonings. You go right ahead. Whatever you would like. Seasons 
else, so I'm going to reach down to this pan and get it. I have some more over here sitting. Um, so, I'm just going to get some more because I, I didn't know if I was going to use all the seasoning. I have it already blended in a container because this is normally what I do when I do chicken like in the air fryer or something like that. So, let me kind of get some more. Of course, I am going to have to clean my, my stove top bag real good too after I get done. You can also put some inside too. Which set this the hole down through and it so it's sprinkled all the way down up there. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're all juiced up now. Got your season. <clears throat> I got the oven preheated at 400 degrees. This is going to go in the oven probably an hour. This is a little bit over a five pound chicken. So you cook it till it's done when the thumb thermometer goes inside and it's 180 degrees. Some people say 175, I do 180, then you know it's done. Okay, so I might come back with video too because I gotta wash my hands and everything. And I got a uh, cloth right here.